Hello everybody, it's Jen. I'm back with my final Pool Piggies card. I had these images left over and thought I should try to challenge myself to make a card with it. So I pulled out the Sunshine and Happiness paper pad by Simple Stories. This came out last summer. And I used a Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die to cut out a panel for my card. And I'm using the stitched peekaboo square die from MFT. And this card is a little bit of comedy of errors, you'll see here in a second, but I wanted to make a pool background for underneath that peekaboo window. I'm going to make a shaker card. So I'm using Peacock Feathers and Mermaid Lagoon, and I am trying to not have a smooth blend again here. I want it to look like the variations in water. So I sprayed it using my Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer. Then I'm going to get out the shimmer spray again that goes everywhere, even if you put a box on your surface. You see me wiping it off there. Just going to heat dry that a little bit so that I can get working on my card. And I'm going to now stick this down to the panel, well the card base actually, which was my first mistake. I decided that I was going to use one of these MFT shaker windows that are already completed and I never used one of these before. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to adhere this. I want to use some foam on the back, some fun foam, so that it will pop up off the base of the card. And then I realize that I need to have the water on the other side of the fun foam. So I'm trying to figure out if I can fix this. I also want to cut a square out of the fun foam and the easiest way for me to do that was to use a larger square for convenience sake. So I'm going to adhere the fun foam onto the back of the card panel. Once I get the square window in here for the shaker element. I really wasn't sure the best adhesive to use. I probably could have used double-sided sticky tape, like really sticky tape, but I decided to go with my ATG and it seems to be holding up fine so far. So now I'm going to get that fun foam down. And here's where I realize I need to peel this up. So I do that really carefully and I am able to salvage it, which is good. So I'm just going to place that down until I get my sequins and these are just sequin containers I have made using sequins from the dollar store. So I'm just using a bunch of different blue ones so that uh, it will kind of mimic the water look that I'm going for. So now I need, I probably should have done this before I put the sequins in, now I need to adhere the water uh, portion here that I made with the distress uh, inks. And I'm just cutting it down so it actually fits in between that fun foam and I ran out of ATG tape as I was doing this so I switched to my Nouveau liquid adhesive glue. So I just stuck that right down in between the fun foam panel and then I'm going to adhere this entire panel onto the card base. I just had some leftover post-it tape and decided for extra security, I would just put that in there so it doesn't move. So I get that lined up on my card base, and I think it looks pretty. I do like the way it, with all the blues, it does look like water. So when I first thought I would do this card with what I had left, I thought I would put the little pool piggy on top of the window, but it would cover up the entire square pretty much, so you wouldn't be able to really see much of it, which I thought kind of takes away from the point of doing the shaker window. So as I played around with it, I thought I would then put her just right there to the bottom right hand corner, like she's kind of beside the water, but you get the, the point, I think. Anybody who got this card, I think, would know that she's either laying by the sun or that it's supposed to represent her lazing around in the pool. I had this palm tree left, so I thought I would stick that to the left side, and then I had two matching flip-flops left. And all three of those images there are from the Lawn Fawn Life is Good set. 
So I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I want them and if I need to put just regular adhesive or need, if I need to pop some of them up so that it will match the depth of the shaker window. So now I want to work on my sentiment. So I decided to get my zig marker out and I am using Bristol Smooth cardstock here and I'm just going to color up a piece of the cardstock so I can cut out a banner using, this is an MFT Blueprints die. It came in the Blueprints 27 die set. So now I have a green that matches the palm tree and I'm stamping out Life is Good, which is from the Lawn Fawn stamp set. And then I'm just going to pop that up and I'm going to place it on the bottom right hand side of the card. I needed something else that would tie in the green because I didn't have green anywhere else so I thought the sentiment would be a good place for that. And then I had this, I had a couple shells and, and this uh, starfish left over so I decided to put the starfish on the sentiment. I had just smudged a little bit of the ink so I'm using my Tombow Mono sand eraser here to get that off, which I was able to do. And then for a final touch, I am going to use some glossy accents on the pool floaty just so that it looks like plastic. So this is my fifth and final card for the Pool Piggy stamp set. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series uh, with this stamp set. I know a lot of you said you really enjoyed it. I had so much fun with this stamp set. I think it's definitely my favorite stamp set of the summer. So stay tuned for some more card videos and maybe a couple hauls. The new Lawn Fawn's coming out soon. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!